Okay. Everyone can hear me? Welcome everybody. Good afternoon. Today we will be talking about uh, sunscreen and also eye cream. Huh? Uh, let me shift this. Okay. Okay. Today the front part, uh, I will explain a little bit more details in the ingredients of uh, sunscreen because um, it's uh, quite a lot of uh, words. Huh? Okay, so in sunscreen, okay, there is only two natural ingredients uh, found in the market right now. Huh? It's either uh, titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. If you have uh, sunscreen on hand with you now, right, you can actually take a look at your labels behind. Uh, too low, me? Can you hear me? Okay, so I'll continue. Huh? So if you can uh, take a sunscreen nearby you and take a look at the labels behind, right? you will see that uh, normally uh, the ingredients listed are either titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. That will be natural ingredient. But you can also see uh, four other common ingredients. Uh, it will be octinoxate, octisalate, octocrylene, and envobenzone. Okay, and then I'm gonna let people in. Okay, then uh, these are the four ingredients are uh, in commercial product. Lah. So if let's say you want to distinguish your product, your on hand uh, your on hand uh, ingredient uh, sunscreen, uh, whether is it in natural or commercial, uh, you can take a look at the label. Uh, these are the common ingredients. Uh. Okay. And then uh the difference between the both of the ingredients is that right chemical sunscreen uh, actually block rays by creating chemical reaction that transform UV rays into heat which is then released from skin. This means uh, uh, when the UV ray actually shine on your skin right uh, the chemical reaction actually occurs on your skin okay and then it will actually repel the the UV rays out. That's the that's the purpose of a sunblock. Okay. While natural sunscreen uh, do it another way, it actually absorb and deflect it without penetrating into the epidermis, which means that it does not enter your skin at all. Okay. Which means that uh, natural sunscreen actually uh, create less uh, skin problems uh, because it actually just happens on the surface. Uh, should we just repel? Okay. So, why natural and not chemical sunscreen? There are quite few reasons. Uh. The first one actually will be, the natural sunscreen actually protect from sun as soon as it apply. So immediately you apply, you go out of the house, it's okay. okay? But chemical sunscreen takes about 20 minutes for the chemical reactions to happen. So which means, right, if you're using uh, chemical sunscreen, right, you need to apply 20 minutes before you leave the house. Okay, natural sunscreen actually lasts longer in direct UV light where chemical uh, sunscreen actually stop working after a while so you need to reapply. It's very very common that uh, you actually have to reply every one or two hours when you are actually using sunscreen. Huh? Okay, so natural sunscreen are gentle on skin and less likely to clog pores. 
and very minimal penetrations onto epidermis. For chemical sunscreen, it's much harsher on skin. The reason being, right, like what I said previously, right, chemical sunscreen actually create chemical reaction on the skin. So it's actually much harsher, especially if you are sensitive skin or young kids. Ah. Actually, chemical sunscreen is very harmful to their skin. Ah. So when a lot of people will ask me, you know, when you see the label, you have, have see a SPF reading of 20, 30, and 50. So what exactly is SPF? Do anyone know? Okay. SPF is actually the number that tells you uh, how long the sun's UV radiation will take to redden your skin. So SPF 30 will means that it will protect you 30 minutes longer. So SPF 50 say likewise 15 minutes longer. Okay? Because it takes about 30 minutes for the chemical reactions to happen on your skin. So if let's say you are using SPF 50 uh, chemical sunscreen, right? You need to apply 50 minutes before you leave the house. Okay? So I talk about uh, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So these two are the natural ingredients that are uh, actually now, right now, uh, with most uh, people are actually using for sunscreen. So titanium dioxide actually comes from uh, titanium minerals, okay? Zinc oxide comes from zinc minerals. Uh. So what are the difference between the two? Uh, okay, titanium dioxide uh, do not contain any oil that will clog skin pores. Okay, while zinc oxide not only do not clog skin pores, it also contains uh, properties called antimicrobial. Okay, this means uh, uh, it will enhance the wound healing. So, for example, you have a lot of acne, you know, a lot of uh, pimples uh, or, you know, rashes on the face, right? It's actually advisable that you choose uh, sunscreen that is with zinc oxide instead of titanium dioxide. Okay, because at the same time you are applying the sunscreen that protects you, you actually uh, helps to heal the wound of the skin. Okay, the second most important thing is that actually titanium dioxide is effective. <laughs> it's effective at blocking UVB and UVA shockwaves. Okay, while zinc oxide is effective at blocking both long and short waves. So in short. In the lay layman terms, uh, it means uh, it lasts longer. So if you're using titanium dioxide uh, sunscreen, you need to reapply. Okay? But where else zinc oxide, okay, you know, you have to reapply also, but lesser. Uh, that means you have to have longer break. Uh, that's what I mean. Uh. So people will ask me what is UVB and UVA. Uh, okay? UVA rays uh, are actually uh, the rays that will cause skin damage. Okay? And that leads to uh, tanning, aging, wrinkle. These are actually very uh, minimum risk of uh, uh, sun rays. Lah. So UVB is the killer. Why we always say that you have to apply uh, sunscreen before you leave the house. Ah. It's not just because you, have, you will have freckles, you know. Okay, it actually, uh, it will prevent you from having skin cancer. Okay, prolonged exposure under uh, UVB rays uh, will cause actually skin cancel. That's why, right, it's advisable that, you know, even if uh, you're just doing casual, go out, you know, just go out for a while, right, you have to apply some sunscreen, okay? Okay, so now it's the extra part. Lah. How to DIY sunscreen? I have actually two recipe here, okay, recipe, the recipe is about 50 ml pump bottle and you can use roughly about 6 months. Lah. But 50 ml, if you use it daily, definitely before 6 months, you will finish. Lah. The reason why 6 months, right? After 6 months, right, the oils will get separated from the rest of the ingredient. Okay? So, do not keep more than that. Lah. Okay? First recipe is a no cook recipe. This is the recipe that actually I will do it today. Okay? I will be using 40 ml of unscented hand and body lotion. Okay, you can use uh, doTERRA ones. Okay, doTERRA ones will be like that. Okay. Or you can find any other lotion as long as you must read the label. Like, it's 
completely unscented and without any other chemicals inside. Eh? Okay, zinc oxide. I will be using zinc oxide instead of uh, titanium dioxide today. Eh? Okay, four drops of helichrysum, one drop of lavender. Okay, this is a very, very simple recipe. Okay, for cooking ones, we'll be using coconut oil. Okay, 25 gram, 25 gram of sheer butter. Okay, 2 gram of carrot seed oil, 12 gram of zinc oxide, 4 drops of helichrysum, and 1 drop of lavender. The essential oil wise is the same. It's just that we are using different parts. The no cook recipe part is actually we use ready made lotion. So for cooking part, is actually we make the lotion actually from scratch. Okay. So. No cook recipe is actually not waterproof. So not waterproof, the other one is actually waterproof. So it depending on your needs, okay? Zinc oxide you can buy in iHerb. I bought it in iHerb, but I bought a very, very big packet. So it's actually something like that, of a whole big packet. You only need a bit. So this one can last me maybe nine, eight, nine recipe. Okay? So how to do it? So for no cook recipe, right, it's very simple. Okay, you just squeeze the lotion out, you pour the zinc oxide in, you mix everything together, and then you add in the essential oil. That's it. It's very, very simple. Okay. This is the difficult part. Uh. So the no cooking recipe, uh, the cooking recipe part, right? You have to take the coconut oil and the shea butter. Okay, melt first. Coconut oil, you can use uh, fractionated coconut oil if you wish, or you can get those uh, kitchen coconut oil, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, you just put 25 gram and 25 gram together, okay, under a boiler, or you can put it uh, in microwave to melt it, okay. Once it's fully melted, then you pour in the carrot seed oil and zinc oxide, okay. As you pour, right, you must remember to blend, otherwise the zinc oxide will become a bit lumpy. Yeah. Okay, then you can cease fire, you pour the mixture into the container, okay, to cool down for a while before you add the essential oil in. Okay, if you add the essential oil under fire, right, the essential oil will be evaporated. So, always cease fire, let it cool down for a while before you add in the essential oil, then you blend. Okay. So today, uh, the next part will be anti-eye cream, okay? Anti-aging eye cream, I think I got a typo here. Okay, my recipe, same, this is for a 50 gram bottle, okay, and it's good for six months. This requires a bit of uh, melting, huh? Okay, let me show you. Okay, 30 gram of sheer butter. 20 gram of uh, rose hip oil, okay? One drop of lavender essential oil, one drop of cedar wood, one drop of helichrysum, one drop of uh, rosemary, and one drop of frankincense, okay? So how to do this? It's very simple. You need to whip the sheer butter first, okay? We can use blender, no handheld blender. If you don't have, then you use your hand. Uh. My experience previously, before I buy a handheld blender, I mix about, I think, about 30 minutes, uh. Okay, so then you add in the rosehip oil. As you add in the rosehip oil, you continue to blend. Okay, then you everything when it's smooth, I will show you what, is, what it means by smooth later on. Okay, then you add in all the essential oils. Okay. Okay, some of you are asking me that, uh, earlier just now someone asked me that, if you have uh, oil seed or very oily, uh, always have uh, oil seeds around the eyes, right? How do you replace it, okay? Because oil seed actually generally occur when your sweat gland is actually uh, blocked. Lah. So for the same recipe I have here, you need to remove uh, 30 grams of sheer butter and the rosehip oil. You are, for people who actually always have oil seed, right? You are not uh, actually suitable for using uh, sheer butter or rose seed because they are, tend to be more on a rich side. So if you use a very rich uh, skincare product, especially around the eye area, you will start having a lot of oil seed. I would suggest you to replace this with aloe vera gel. 
So you just, it's very simple. Same thing of aloe vera gel, you add in with all the essential oil, you mix it, and then you can apply. Aloe vera gel is actually lighter and not oily, so you will get absorbed easier. Okay, 50 gram of uh, aloe vera gel instead of 30 shea butter and 20 rosehip oil. If you don't have helicrease, um, you try to use myrrh, myrrh also can. Okay, last two weeks, right, someone uh, actually asked me about and the uh, dark eye ring creams. Lah. So today, I will share a little bit same thing with it so you all can take a screenshot. By right today, I do not have this topic. Lah. But while I was doing the slide, then I suddenly recall someone asked me. So this is the recipe. It's actually, uh, the difference is just that I replace uh, rosehip oil with vitamin E oil. Okay, and then the essential oil, actually I use lavender, lemon, cypress, rosemary, and frankincense. Okay, it's, it, it, the procedure is the same. You just whip it first. No more also. Uh. No more, then you put two drops of frankincense. So no choice. Okay, you can add in the vitamin oil. Okay, then you add in the oils. It's actually the same thing. Uh. It's just that uh, I replace the carrier oil and also the essential oil. Okay, same thing if let's say you have uh, always have oil seeds around the eyes, you replace the shea butter and the vitamin E oil with uh, aloe vera gel. Okay? Okay, let me. Do you all, all screenshot take already? Eh? If all screenshot take already, then uh, I will move on to. Okay. Okay, let me scroll down. Okay, we start with, give me a minute. Ah. Sunscreen first. So I will not be doing the no cook, uh, the cooking recipe. Lah. Today instead, I will use uh, doTERRA's uh, unscented lotion because uh, time constraint, lah. I, I cannot be cooking here and it will take a lot of time. Okay, but if let's say you are interested to know how to do, I will do a recording and I will, I will share it lah in the group chats. Okay, so this is the doTERRA uh, unscented lotion that we are using. Okay, I already measured uh, about 40 grams here, 40 ml here. Okay, so it's very simple. I will use hairy cream. Okay, lavender. Okay, the zinc oxide of 12 gram is also measured already. So it actually is in a very white powder form you can see here. Lah. So it comes from a big packet that I bought from uh, iHerb. Okay, this cost I think 7 or $8 plus. I cannot remember but it's 100 gram here. Okay. Normally, I will pour a little bit first. Huh? You all maybe want to tune down the, 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 the volume because huh? this blender is going to be quite noisy. Okay, I pour a little bit and then um, I blend it a little bit then I pour again. The reason why I split the pouring is because right, it will become very lumpy. Uh. Okay. If you don't have a blender, then you use your hand to stir about 30 minutes, ah, as I tried before. Ah.
I buy the blender actually from Taobao. Eh? Very cheap. Eh? I think I buy four five dollars. You can use your sand mixer lah, but for a little bit of maybe you want to double the recipe because it's going to be very wasted. Eh? You use a such a small thing with such a big mixer. Eh? Okay. I show you all. Uh, I don't know whether you all can see. Ah, uh. it's like that. It will become like that. So it's like you know. Uh, Okay. Okay, and then I add the Harry Crimson. This is Harry Crimson, huh? And then lavender. Oh, look, this lavender is not open. Okay, after you add the oils in, you blend a little bit more. Yes, you can. You can use uh, aloe vera gel to replace this, no problem. Well, some, some people might find cream uh, a bit oily, so you can, can replace them. Oh, it's not very good. Okay, so you become something like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. This is the same bottle, but in a pump form, ah. Huh? Sorry, I take wrong bottle. You also can put in those uh, squeeze tube, uh, so you can easier to apply also can. Okay. Okay. okay, so we are done with this.
Yeah, la, later I will, I will scoop. La. Now I don't want to scoop first. La. Later I will continue scoop. Because <laughs> it's a lot of waste of time for you all to see me scooping here, you know. Okay. I uh, move on to the eye cream. Uh. Give me a minute. Uh. Let me wash this. Okay, for eye cream wise, right? Shea butter, okay, 30 gram, 20 gram of uh, rosehip oil. I already measured already. Okay, so you see, uh, shea butter, I actually buy this type of uh, also again, I buy from I heard one. Uh. So it comes with something like that. It's a hard thingy. Uh. It's very hard one. So it's a bit sticky, sticky, very oily type. So uh, I measured 30 grams. It will be like that. But before you add in the rosehip oil, right, we also have to blend it first. Okay? Okay. You blend it. Uh. I blend until a bit, you know, a bit smooth, a bit thick, thick already, like that. Then I start adding in the oil slowly. Sometimes like, the shea butter actually gets thick on the side of the pizza. La. So what I do is I really will go and, you know, make them really, you know, uh, make them... Otherwise, like, you must make sure it's uh, actually be until very, very, very smooth. Otherwise, uh, you will feel a bit uh, lumpy in between as you apply. Imagine uh, without blender, uh, your hand. Uh, the first time I tried, uh, wow, my hand wants to break. Okay. So, it will look something like this. Very creamy one. You can see, right? Yeah. Okay. That's when we add the essential oil in. Uh. Okay, the vendor, one drop, okay, cedar wood, one drop, oops, If you melt, right, it will become like, um, if you melt, you need to add in bee wax. If you add in bee wax, it's possible. Otherwise, right, it will become liquid. It will not become a cream form. Okay? 
So you can either add bee wax and whip it, uh, add, bee, add bee wax and melt it, or you whip it. Okay, this is frankincense. Rosemary. Harry Crescent. So it's just uh, five kinds of oil. You one drop each. And this cream can last you two months maybe, two, three months. Okay, because you only need a bit. Uh. Okay, then you continue blending. Uh, so the oils are actually blend inside. Continue mixing a bit, maybe about three five minutes with my handheld blender. If let's say you are using hand, probably you stir another ten minutes like that, lah, Okay. So it's a lot of stirring, ah. So it's advisable you all get a automatic one. This one your hand will take. Ten. Thirteen. Ten. I suggest uh, they use the dark eye ring one. Uh. If you use aloe vera, same thing. Uh. If you don't use a hand mixer, you need to mix quite long. Uh. If your hand can tahan, then okay, uh. The first time I didn't buy this, also, I, I used my hand one. After I try really, I feel it's good. The free then I'm going to buy the mixer because I don't want to stir 30 40 minutes every time. Okay. So it's a uh, like you know, like mango shake like that. You see the color? A bit like mango shake. Eh? Smells very good. Very slow. This funnel too slow. Funnel very slow. Eh? Later, I will continue adding. Uh. If not, I don't know. I pour until what time. Uh. Okay. It will be something like that. If you all can see. So, the palm right just come out only. 
Okay, later I will continue to finish here. Okay. So for that eye ring one, right? So you will just change the recipe a bit. Uh. It's very simple. Yeah, let me see. I all want the screen again, huh? Let me see the question. Eh? Give me a while. Okay. This is the dark eye ring one. So I show you one more time. You take a photo. Okay. The sunscreen can be used on both face and body. You just uh, increase the recipe. That means if let's say you are doing 80 ml, right, you double the zinc oxide become 24. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you can reuse hydrating container, whatever container you have, lah, but advisable to be glass container because it's essential oil. Yeah. Okay. I will go back to previous one. Okay, this is the anti-aging anti eye cream. I forgot the word aging. Yes, Michelle. Lemon, you only can use the, the cream at night. Okay. Take a photo. I will go back again for sunscreen. This is the cooking recipe. Yeah? Okay, the no cook recipe, I will go back again. Okay, you can take a photo. Okay. You have any questions before I move to the last part? The dark eye ring one need to cook. Uh, no, same thing, you use whipping. Whipping is better. If you need to cook them right, you need to add B wax. Otherwise, the whole, uh, whole mixture will become liquid. Okay? Okay, I will. If B wax, okay, if B wax, the recipe you add roughly, let me think, uh, 20, 20, 30, 20. You add about 5 grams of B wax. Can already. Then you make it to boil. Everything melt already. Uh, then you uh, add in the essential oil. Okay. And then you wait for it to harden a bit. Okay. So once you add a uh, bee wax, right, the result will be a bit like, um, you all know Vaseline. So it's a bit hard, a bit soft, soft like that. Yeah. A B wax one, huh? Once you add B wax, right? You cannot wait it to be too cool before you add the essential oil, yeah? cause the whole mixture will harden on. So it's something like uh, I'm not sure you attend the shaft class or not. The shooting shaft class, uh, it will become like that, that hard, uh. okay? Any more questions from you all?
。哦，昨天有落几份诶。嗯啊。咦、嗯、？I will be giving out the these two queens out today, and also I have a little bit of announcement at the back 啊。So you give me a while, ah. Okay, let me share the screen. So only two, ah. The first one I give, ah, um, let me see, sunscreen, lah. Okay. Actual name, but you can PM me later, ah. Cause ah, yeah, I follow your Zoom name, ah. So for the IG. Show you all my uh, number later on. Okay. Hmm. I need to take a photo ah uh, before I move on to the last segment. Last time I have something very very exciting to tell you. So can you help me to turn on camera for a while? Very fast one. Okay. Oh, Eugene, today you very pretty, leh. The face so bling bling, eh. <laughs> yeah. Because of your mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, smile. Okay. Okay. Let me. Oops. Okay, I you all have been attending my class for a while, right? So I actually started something very interesting, lah. Okay, I will be giving out few things, actual product. Okay, so it's actually a Google form. You all scan. Okay, you all can uh scan and take part later on. Okay, you all can share this with anyone, even if they are not attending live. No problem. Okay, you all can scan and you all can, there are six questions inside. So for every question, I will do a draw. So for those who answer six questions correctly, okay, you will get uh, 50 ml of peppermint. Okay, that's a, that's a seven price. Lah. So for the every six question, right, I'll be giving out one, one hand, uh, I have two hand and body lotion, two hand lotion and two on guard me. So total of six. Okay. Scan the QR code, easier la. Okay, you all also can share with your friends. I, I don't mind la. Because to answer the question, you need to really have watched either live of my class or you need to go back to YouTube and look again. So no matter what, you all have to... I want to see how much things you all have learned around la. Okay, so... Same thing. If you win your prize or you have any other question that you are shy to ask in Zoom you know, or live, you can PM me directly or you can scan to join my uh, group chat. Okay, so for Cindy and Lovi, okay, your prizes, please uh, come and take claim from me directly. Uh. If you don't claim from me directly, then if after two weeks still here, then I'm going to draw maybe next month's class. Lah. Okay. Next month's class, I will be teaching, let me see, uh, quite a few things. Mm, let me see. I have acne gel, facial scrub, uh, deodorant spray, tinted lip balm, because I know, I don't know, uh, you all are like me or not. I'm, like, I'm the person don't like to put a lot of lipstick. 
So I prefer lip balm, but lip balm sometimes no color. So this time around, I'm going to teach you how to do a uh, colored uh, lip balm. Okay, I will do body wash and shampoo as well. So it will be across the whole month of November. Okay. Any more questions? Oops. Okay, let me go back the chat. Uh. If no more questions, and I'm going to end the call already. Okay? And Cindy, yes, I'm trying to figure how to live on Facebook. So today I do one experiment. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.